Another day, another dollar spent on toys. We're here with another episode of The Toy Closet. Presented by yours truly, the one and only Benny Rose. With my man, the man of many Spider-Man toys, as me, Legend Pop, Mr. Paul. What's up, buddy? What's going on, sir? Many Spider-Man toys. Many Transformer toys, many Lego, many et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Hot toys. Too many. The list can oh, go. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't I don't take the cake on the hot toys. Dr. Joe will That's take the true. cake on that. But uh, the toy collecting, and I, as I see your collection, I don't feel as bad about mine, but it has really picked up since my son has been born. So this is why Changes we had the, game, the show. Right? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's so good to be on? back. Not much, man. It's uh, I know it's been a little bit. You know, again, the way we're gonna do the show is when we have time. It goes with our theme of being pressed for time, family, life, work, things like that. But we want to take time for the passions that we have, and everybody knows Paul and I are big into the toy stuff. So this is a great way for us to recon on things that are going on in the industry, how it affects us, um, what we're interested in. We've talked about doing unboxings, which we might do something special for you on today's show. Um, but today is going to be fairly quick. We're going to just talk a couple topics. First thing we wanted to recap on from the first show was the uh, Woodbridge Toy Show that we did. You know, we uh, thanked a couple people that came by. But uh, how was that show, Paul? Hold on, let me just get in the elevator. Get the fuck out of here. Let's see you later. No, that show. That show was terrible. Uh, we, I've done three of those those style shows, and this was far and away the worst. It wasn't worth my time there. Luckily, I made enough to cover the cost of the table and a little bit more, but it was not worth my time. I know you fared better, and a uh, friend of I, I don't like to use the word friend, more like a, a, a social media acquaintance of mine reached out when I posted about us doing the show, and uh, he wanted some of your Marvel Legends, so it ended up being uh, a good sale for you. Maybe you made back more than the cost of the table just on that sale alone. Yes, and I appreciate that opportunity again. Yeah, that was uh, an interesting situation. But uh, I'm with you on the overall, you know, feel and vibe of the show. Like it wasn't as busy as we thought. There was a lot of definitely window shoppers. Not. I didn't make, you know, I definitely didn't make a lot either. I made a couple hundred bucks, but again, you know in the hindsight of that stuff, it's great to be able to hang out with you and our buddy Rich Rampage, you know, things like that. There's a lot of yeah. cool feelings. It gives me like the old retail vibes to some degree, you know, just being yeah. able to chill out. But it gives me a little post-traumatic sometimes with the retail vibes that I got to like go walk around and like, yes, sell, go, go out, <laughs> sell, go. Yeah. You know what happens well, when the, the icebreaker. They got at the icebreaker. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get the 30 second rule. Can I help you? You wanna buy you wanna buy some Legos? Come on. <laughs> don't sit on the floor and just buy D- like go through all my DVDs and then don't buy anything. Oh we know that we know I, that happened a couple times. That's right? one of my favorite, one of my favorite things. But it seems uh to be a common occurrence <laughs> I've noticed with those yeah, shows with you. It has, and usually I'll make some money off of the, the DVDs and Blu-rays to just cover the table. That was not the case this show. So yeah. and I and I know even those shows are primarily pop, pop Funkos, which I don't know if we brought up on the last show, but it didn't look like a lot of people were, a lot of people were set up with pops, but it didn't look like there were even a lot of those being sold. So I don't know if it was just a show as a whole was not well received or, I think people you know, I don't know. Spending money. I think that's another big thing. I felt like it was a lot more haggling going on, you know, like yeah. I turned away stuff that I usually wouldn't because I don't care in most cases. I'll be like, fine you know like i'll just sell it but there was certain scenarios where i was just like yeah i'm kind of stuck on that and they were just all right you know and then people oh come back you're not i'm not gonna lose sleep over you not coming back you know what i mean like somebody else will come in hopefully 
but it was a learning learning experience. But again, a lot of times we do that to kind of free up space, make room for right. That's exactly that's Is exactly it. it. And that would have been a great opportunity to make some space for the Hazlab that was announced today. But we'll get into that in a second. I just wanted nice, to also nice mention segue. a little segue. You like that, right? Got to make room for it because it's a big boy. It's a big boy. But uh, I know you and I have tried in the past, and I'm really going to make the push for it within the next month or so to get a Whatnot show going. We both have Whatnot seller accounts. Uh, there are capabilities of doing simultaneous streams. I don't know how the, the, the selling that way would work, but uh, I think we, we need to get one going. If we start to build a little bit of an audience here, have some people that subscribe on Whatnot, um, yours, your Whatnot handle is the same. Is it at, uh, it's Benny Rose? I have to double check. I don't know if it's going to be, I don't remember if it's Benny Rose or maybe Game, Gamer X Vault, which is what I okay. use for Nakari, possibly. Okay. So we'll add that, I guess, maybe in the comments, uh, the yeah. descriptor for the YouTube video. But mine is at Legend Pop. At Legend Pop is pretty much my handle everywhere or a very close uh, variant on that. But uh, it is at Legend Pop. And I think with my brainstorm as we're just talking is it'd be cool if Rich got on one of those two with us at some point. I mean, he's really extended family, right, of the, of the show. Yeah. He has, they have their own show. They don't do as often, but he's really big into toys. And he brings more of that loose aspect of, you know, like more, more of my collection is sealed stuff. Right, and I'm, well. and I'm the hybrid in a sense, but yeah. he is mostly loose. Well, it's funny that you bring him up because um, there's actually been a lot of brainstorming that I've had and talking with him. So there are plans to kind of incorporate him into some of the stuff that we're doing because he's very active in the world of TikTok, which you and I you know, are not as much. I do a little more here and there with my son and stuff, but um, he's built a pretty good following on there and he runs live streams for hours at a time, literally just kind of showcasing his crazy room with all his toys and stuff. And he's built a nice, uh, nice fan base. So we've talked about maybe doing something with him and some of the other uh, big toy collectors in TikTok world. Cause there's a lot of them that really have great followings that kind of just have the same passions as us. So I think he's planning on trying to do the whatnot type thing, but we can always, try to incorporate something like that. I think that well, could I be mean, really like cool. we, we could all do our own and then, you know, yeah. I've seen people do Cross simultaneous streams, but right. He'll go on one and we'll just go on as a side window just to talk while he's selling exactly. stuff and then vice versa. But I yeah. think that's a good way to go, especially not paying for these tables. And then that way we have a little bit more of a reach. So the people can, that aren't local to New Jersey can actually get yeah. some of our guys. I've got some great things for you, stranger. <laughs> what are you buying? What are you selling? Not well, I'm not sure what I'm selling yet. <laughs> <laughs> but that's to come. So let us go into today's announcement of the Hazlab. Ooh. Very excited for this. Very oh, yeah. excited for this. Yeah. This so... is the Giant Man Hazlab. And we were almost a third of the way. Within just, day. what, eight hours maybe? Yep. Maybe less than that at this point? Awesome. It's 24 inches, that's what she said, of Giant Man. It comes with a couple heads. I have already backed. Have you? Not yet. When I get paid, not it's all on the plan. I am not making well, they don't, twice. They don't charge you until the, the, the end. Okay, so then I'm doing it today. <laughs> I'm trying to scroll Sweet. here. Here we go. Uh, yeah, you see if it, it's, it's there, if the, uh, it only if it reaches its minimum, because it has to hit the target in right. order to even right. charge you for it. But, Makes uh, sense. let's scroll down to those other heads. They, they did a, a pretty cool tease for this as they were building these, they had these pictures posted on social media and some of the designers, right, right of, uh, of, uh, the legend series. And it pisses me off because some of those, I have a lot of those Avengers that they released. Now I have to go out of my way to get like the last couple that I'm missing. <laughs> they always get you. Yeah. Well, I didn't, I missed that. I, I haven't picked up the Hawkeye yet. I know he's out there now and I know people are struggling with the Black Widow. I've, I've seen her once and I was just like, eh, and I have a different, oh, well, maybe I have that Iron Man. I have that Hulk. I have that Thor. I have that cap. So. I like the cap has the uh, shield that you can wear. Yes. 
I like I that. Think, I think I could be wrong because there's two. I think there's a more recent cap, and then there was the, the like the 30th anniversary one, which is the same right. packaging as the Hulk and the Iron Man. I don't know if that's the same cap or not. But you know so what sold this. I could guess what sold me on it other than the giant man. Oh, I'm assuming that the the stretch goal here of the zombie, the zombie oh. uh head. Well, and then the scroll penis, head at penis, 14 penis, penis pants. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta it. go to the bathroom. I gotta take a giant I'm, piss. I'm a little I'm a little surprised. I mean they can add another goal if it really hits it quickly. I'm surprised there's no wasp. Like a small or or even a regular sized wasp because she's not in the line. So I would assume. Right. I mean, you want you want Hank to you want Hank to beat her up, right? I think the big reason um, from when I was watching the live stream earlier, they talked about how the last one failed and how a lot of the figures were gatekeeped behind everything, and they wanted to try to do something different. So instead of Having right. figures part of the tier, you know, make sure that the figures are actually release and see the light of day. Yeah, but they the... so so now that I'm remembering it to make up that that uh that failure of a Haslab. Well, you're talking about the Ghost Rider. Yes, the Spirit car, right? Yeah, so they added Mephisto towards the end, right, to try and get the extra. Yeah. So this one, hopefully, they add more. I think this one's gonna have no problem hitting the ten thousand, especially since we're almost at three. In less than 24 hours. I also think this is a great value considering it's $200. But if you had to build a figure, uh, you'd be probably spending close to 140, 150, right? And that and figure is never, it's size. never, right, it's never going to be as big as this is. Plus, you have all the, the extra detail and the articulation. I think the biggest differentiator the hand is, is awesome, hands. right? Yes. It's awesome. I was so impressed. I saw some shots of the hand. Uh, With the knuckles. Here you we get, go. Yeah, you get Look at that. Digits. Yeah. Yeah. It's individual. Awesome. Yeah. It's really, 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 really impressive. Because I, I mean, I think Galactus and Sentinel have that too. But again, is we're at a that, level of this is. They might not, maybe, they may not have all three knuckle levels, but they yeah. definitely have the, the individual digits. I mean, I yeah, don't have they either do. one, but. Um, Again, but this have, is also at the level of a looking. figure. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, I feel like those aren't figures per se because one's more of a machine, one's kind of like a hybrid, you know, with Galactus. So, this is more of like a traditional, uh, like 112 scale mold, if you will, just at a much, much more intricate level. So, yeah. it, it's really cool. I mean, I'm excited for it. I am not a big Giant Man fan like you, but again, I like that. Um, it's something unique, but it is something that's attainable. That's going to be the key part here. It's not yeah. anything that's going to scare people away with the price for the most part. Yeah. And I mean, if you look at the last Haslab, we're not both, we are big Star Wars fans, but we're not big Star Wars toy collectors at all. But the, 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 the ship, ghost, was the awesome. ghost, the ghost it, and it hit its goal really quickly also. So, uh, I mean, Hasbro is hitting the right notes, it seems like now. Especially after that, Spirit of Vengeance was really just a colossal failure for what they what they wanted for a, a, a plastic car. You know, we're not even talking diecast right. or anything. Like that. So that was a real tough sale. I think what was it, three hundred? Yeah, or I think maybe even yeah. three fifty. It might have been three fifty. Right, and which is which is crazy. And I mean, that's why I said this is a great value. And uh, as someone that it really doesn't collect a ton of these, but I do collect pretty much any Ant Man that comes out, along with the Spider Man, as Benny mentioned. So this was a must. So I, I've already, I already jumped on it, and uh, you'll see a little word of warning is that it doesn't have free shipping if you don't have uh, Pulse Premium, which I don't anymore, and I don't think do. Mine expired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it was it was weird because I ordered us the uh, Alistair Smythe uh, Spider-Man animated pack, and when I ordered two of those, it gave me free shipping. So this is way more than that is. And it still came up with shipping. Maybe once they actually process it, it won't. I don't know. Right. But that was odd to me. And what was the price and shipping? Like 20 bucks, probably? It was 15 which isn't okay. terrible, I think. Yeah. Or 15 or 16 But the hand, like you said, was the first thing that really stood out to me. I thought that was awesome. It really looks like an actual... Oh, like, he snapped. You can really, you can really articulate cool. it. and That's cool. Yeah, it's exciting. I mean, it's funny, too. Like... 
we uh you know they they led yes. they led the tease you know all the way to the end and i think once they showed the shadow you know i like you and i talked offline i was like that's that's definitely giant man it can't be anything else like just right. the, shape, the shape of the body and everything like that but uh no it's it's it's, it's exciting so Best of luck to Hasbro. You know, obviously we're <laughs> we're fans to some degree when it comes to, you know, purchasing and stuff like that. But uh, I think they're yeah. on the right track with doing I mean, this, doing right. This is this will be my fourth Haslab. I did not buy Unicron despite being a huge Transformer fan. I couldn't value. I think it was eight hundred when it when it launched. Was it eight hundred bucks? I think it was that much. I'm I'm fairly certain. Crazy. Uh, but and uh, uh, somebody we know has two of them. Oh, yeah. No huh? comment. <laughs> He'll never but, uh, watch the show, so it's irrelevant. <laughs> but Galactus was my first. You know, you always remember your first. Uh, and uh, the two Transformer ones that they've done recently from uh, uh, Master Force and Victory, which one hasn't arrived yet. But uh, and you this, got this Victory one Saber has. already, right? That's the one yes. you have. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I, that's the that's the first regret that I had, and then obviously, I mean, I wasn't collecting when the Sentinel came out, but I do regret not getting Galactus. It just wasn't in uh, it wasn't in the funds at the time, and I see it everywhere, and I see these crazy prices, and I understand. But you know, one day, one day, maybe I'll be able to swindle something from my collection to somebody that really <laughs> wants to get rid of it. We can hope, right? <laughs> For yeah. now, I'll I'll well, deal with my uh, three. Uh, you know, incompetent Sentinels by comparison. My Titan, I, my Custom, and my uh, the three five scale, seven five scale. I was off, so it was still not quite eight hundred, but it was apparently five hundred and seventy five. Yeah, still a lot of money. Which, for yeah, which after tax, probably and everything, the most expensive Haslab, right? Maybe I believe I believe so. Yeah, I believe so. I mean, I mean the bottom made... of this page shows all of them, and I was looking at this earlier today. Uh, not this page, maybe a different one. I was at another page, but it showed all of them, and but it didn't list the prices from mm. the previous, the previous Haslabs. Got it. Them. It's, oh uh, yeah, it's past, projects. past projects. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, so you can see which and, ones didn't even get funded. First one. I remember the barge was the first one. Yeah. So there's the Victory Saber. The Star, uh, GI Joe, the the Sky Striker, some more Star Wars. The Rancor didn't get funded, right? Right. And neither, yeah, the neither did there. Yeah. yeah, the third oh, sister. The, the lightsaber, the lightsaber needed to spin. Didn't yeah. spin. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So I mean, I, I'm excited for it. I, you know, what the thing about the Unicron is, is uh, you see, it says War for Cybertron Unicron, and just the way it looks, it's it looks like. I mean, it's it's an awesome looking piece that would probably look great like from afar, but to me, it looks too much like the Netflix series. You know, like the, yeah. the parts need to be smooth, 86. smooth. Yes, they need to be smoothed out a little bit. I feel like his head looks like just too much of that. Like I don't like it. Those it looks almost details. like it's um like it's in a design phase. Yeah, I mean, it looks like the Netflix series to me. Like all those yeah. toys look like. Which is not, like, I don't know, prefer. blocky, blocky looking. I mean, it still looks great. I'm not, I'm not trying to take away that it doesn't look great, but yeah, you have, you, you know. have your preferences, and there's nothing wrong with that. Especially if you're gonna invest that kind of money into a product like that, you want it to be the way you want as much as it can. And if it doesn't right. resonate with you, then, but I think obviously your your points for not getting it were definitely different. It was more of price, size, things like that. It was price yeah. more than anything. But I'm gonna show this real quick. Just, just because we've talked it before, this is a third-party Unicron. Uh, it's sold out now. It's called the uh, Show Cell uh, One, I believe it is, Studio Cell One, and it goes for around between three and three twenty. So you're looking at almost half the cost, and at, at, to me, as good. The parts look size smoother. Size is probably smaller, though, right? Scale wise, slightly, slightly smaller, yeah. But it might be but better still, for, for half the cost. And, yeah, yeah, it's still it's still better. It's still bigger than the previous Unicron they made, right? But it is pretty big. Let me show you this. Yeah, it's awesome. Wow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I was on the fence with ordering it. Now it's sold out. Hopefully they do another 
reissue of it. But this, to me, I think personally looks better than the Haslab. And Haslab could always go back and do another one. But like you said, the 86 version of it, they could do and just take that mold and kind of change it up a little bit. Right. But the question is, will they? They don't well, like they're do for, too much, at least for la- Haslabs. Right. Well, and they're due for a Transformer one soon. Yeah. Right. Because they, right. they like, they go through their cycle. So they did G.I. Joe. They did uh, Star Wars just finished with the Ghost. And now they're doing Marvel. So will it be Transformers or Power Rangers next? They need to do Power Rangers. They need to explore it. I mean, how many times are you going to build the Megazord? You know what I mean? Like, I definitely think that's not, I think either Command Center. I think um, Serpent Terror would be cool. You ready for what I'm going to say? Titanus. Just end the show right here. Titanus. Benny almost had a Titanus at the toy show. He didn't want to close the deal. He almost had one. I'm very disappointed he didn't have one. <laughs> is, that, is that what I sound like now? No, that was the guy. That was like oh. to, he was haggling with other people. I'm like, oh, $10, $15. <laughs> For ten dollars, oh, Titanus doesn't even make his head move. Ah. But, but in seriousness, yeah, the command center would be probably the, the coolest one, right? Or or Rita's, uh, but I, I don't gotcha. think that would get the backers. The t- the command center probably would. Yeah. Then what do you have? Like, how could you not include Alpha? Without like, you can't make him a backer thing. He'd have no, to be included, agreed. right? Yeah. No, I think that would be awesome. I mean, we've had one as a kid, and people are still avid collectors of that set i had that for a long time too and it was it was very creative it was ahead of its time it had the little mic that you actually you know changed your voice and stuff they can elevate that Uh, unless they building something like i think serp like serpentera is not you know you got to be in this fandom for something like that but i think that could be awesome i don't know if you remember that no Uh, that was lord that was lord zed's the the dragon that he had the green dragon but it was it was okay. technically bigger than the Zords, you know. Well, what if they did the the the, the Megazord from that that season, the second season? Because they have they haven't redone that Megazord. They did the the Thunder Megazord. Yeah, I like that one the least personally. You talking if they do like the Zap again, like the the well, no, do shooting. do it like a Hazlet, make it make it even bigger. So they or have, you include they have the a... white thun- white thunder. The uh, white tiger sword, but then you got to get the turtle too. You got the tour. Eh, you got to get all of turtle, turtle shell. Turtle shell. Just open <laughs> the shell and just throw it, just throw it inside. It, it, does, it has the fingers. <laughs> it just does this. It's so stupid. Like the dragon sword. Dragon. Well, the tra- yeah, the dragon sword didn't move, but the tour was literally <laughs> just hands that did this on the side. I got to go on eBay after the show. I'm gonna get. Yeah, I got to get you a Titanus. No, get out of here. I had one already. <laughs> I had the lightning. You already oh, had no, not the lightning. The uh, the Bandai ones. Once it so was once ha- I had it, it was like eh. Hasbro did that. Did a remake of that, but they so, didn't do it in the new the new. No, the so, new the... yeah, the Ascension they skipped. The Ascension they did Megazord, Dragon Zord, and then they did the Astro Megazord from space. Which so is they jumped garbage. Because um, <laughs> I didn't watch the show. So. There is a there is a version that. I think it has has Hasbro's name on it, but it's co-licensed for like another company. It's the Thunder Megazord, but it doesn't transform, but it's like really articulated. Oh, it's got like full that's joints. That's not what I want. I don't want that. I would prefer that because for me, the, the reason I didn't like the Thunder Megazord is because I felt the design was so bulky. It couldn't do much with it, like as far as posing and stuff like that. If you look it up, um, Thunder Megazord, I, I don't know. I, I would say Hasbro because it's going to be another – like. That sword that it had, it has like abilities to pose, like where it's pulling the sword out. Like it's the way I envisioned that that sword to move in the comic, in the cartoon, the show, whatever. But obviously, having that toy, like you'd move the arm up, and the freaking uh, the mastodon, uh, was it? <laughs> you show me Titanus again. Look that at the price. Out. Which one is that? I know. Seven thousand dollars. Jesus Christ. I thought this was a family friendly show, but you're gonna have to bleep that out. Oh my god. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> wow. Holy crap, man. No, no one's buying it for no, that. I know That's like that. you posting something you know you're not gonna you don't want to sell, but you, your wife's telling you you have to sell it. Oh, I listed well, it. Nobody wants it. I don't understand. 
Well, I see the list on the bottom. You see, like it says the the middle one. It says Bandai America Power Rangers Legacy Black. I have all of them right here on this wall right here. Those are not worth anything, unfortunately. Well, this is one hundred and fifty dollars. No huge. sales, no sales yeah. yet. Obviously, yeah. there's a reason why there's. No I mean, sales. I've never used Stock X. I've heard of it before. Yeah, no, I just clicked on the first link as a joke. It wasn't Got really. It. I'm not. <laughs> we're not promoting them. We we no. were we're whatnot eBay everything else yes. but it. So. Macari. Macari, uh, I, I don't like use, my, I like but my, maybe I will yeah. eventually. Yeah, it's worked in my favor mostly, but all right. So I mean, yeah, we talked a lot more than I thought about Power Rangers, which is fine. Uh, see, look I'm, at this, just for you. We'll look, get you to do another show more quickly. Look, there you go. Look, because oh, well, I can talk Mighty Morphin. It's the other stuff that I can't. You know what I mean? Well, it's not... No, I but I I have to talk JDF. You know, I'm going to be. I I have to pay the ta the Jason tax regardless. So. Obviously, you know, we lost Jason David Frank. I'm a big, I've always been a Tommy guy, but um, I don't like these boxes. So that's the one thing Hasbro get back to the windows, even with these. Um, it's great because these were the last suits that he wore in the show. Um, unfortunately, with the turbo, this actually just came in the mail. Doesn't come with the Tommy head because obviously this is the guy that took over. But to me, if I ever display it, I'm going to display just the uh, just the the suits and have him wear the head, you know, with either green, white, and zero, because those are the five that he did. But uh, yeah, that wasn't going to be part of my unboxing. It's just funny enough that that came in, and you know, that's I I buy a lot of the lightning collection. I don't think I I've actually never opened any of them. Like the whole top closet is just lightning collection. But uh, they're smaller oh, too. Shifting. What is the camera? It, it, it keeps. I keep trying to get you to be the main focus, and it keeps oh. making me the main focus. Because you're the main. Because you're the you. You what we want to see, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. I, I don't know about that though. Is it the common? Is it the common man? Though? Oh, the common man's on the show gets appearance. <laughs> <laughs> All well, right. let's do your unboxing. Let's do your what you got for us this week, and maybe I can mess around with the camera while you're trying to get it ready. And I don't, yeah. I don't know why it's not shift four. No, it's not. It's focusing on me and my door, closet door behind me. Closet. So I have a couple of things I could show. I don't have to. Um, I don't know what I'll open, but I figured there's some cool stuff here. Um, I think we might have talked about one or two of them on, a, on the previous show, but for for a fan of you. Being the Transformers, I don't remember if I showed you that. Fan got of you, guy. fan of you. I don't, you know, I make shit up as I go sometimes. <laughs> fan of you, got my Bumblebee from uh, the game Game Reverse. Got the Megatron recently. The Megatron so, is cool. Yeah, I haven't decided if I'm going to open them, put them on a different shelf because I have my G1 shelf and then I have my Rando shelf. That just has a mix of all of the Decepticons and Autobots. But I got two Toddy Max here. And then I have a third party that's like Batman, but not Batman. So Toddy Mac. You know me, I'm a sucker for Toddy Mac. I don't know this character. Hello, I'm not Toddy Mac falling. Uh, James Bond. James Bond. Oh, and boy. We got a bis here. I'm not going to pretend to know who Abyss is, but I am a lover uh, of the design. He fought Spawn 20,000 times. I'm going to write it. I'm going to direct it. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Well, he fought Batman. Yeah, was, so uh, this is the new style box that he's doing. He's making everything be collector's edition. He's giving a card. And, of course, with that came the price increase, unfortunately. I was just going to say that's got to be a price increase, right? Yeah. Um, so I don't know if he's doing that with every figure because in the same time I pre-ordered the, the figure I've been waiting for the number one of all of my Toddy Max, my Tim Drake, my Robin growing up my nineties. That's the suit that I was waiting for. Finally got it real excited for it. This is going to be the reason that I open, uh, some Toddy Max, get them on display. I already opened up my Dark Knight Returns wave, which I absolutely love. But um, this is not like a real unboxing. This is more of just like this has paper on it so I could show what it is. But this is like one of those, like you, 
You do the third party um, unofficial stuff. This was like heavily inspired by like a Batman type figure. It's the Knight of War, which is kind of cool. It's like a, almost like a darker, weird medieval kind of Batman. It's got the head that's removable and all that stuff. So undecided if I want to open that because that's not going to scale with the seven inches. So what do you think out of what I showed? What what should I pop? Every, you've got every level here of, of heights and between. No, I no, I know, but I'm, I'm saying like if I'm keeping him with I'm, Batman, he would have to go on the Batman right, shelf. Right. You know. I'm intrigued, and I don't know if you're planning on opening it, but I'm playing intrigued with the Abyss uh, figure. Yeah. No, I was out of all the figures, he was one that I kind of wanted to open sooner than later. I just really liked the design. That's um, what I was going to say. It looks like a cool figure, so. Yeah, like to see it, it without the glare, glare. of the box. <laughs> so let's pull out my friend, friends of the show that sees me do my toys. We got El Nifo. Bringing El Nifo back into the forefront. Yes, my well, son. While Nifo. you're while you're opening it, we can get some extra get off here on here. This was oh. my arrival of arrival oh. of the week. Oh, I, I hate know. you. I hate you. No, I arrival don't of the I week. You. You, you didn't get it? I missed out on it. And I, and, oh. I and, and, and it was probably for the better because I still have the original Batmobile, and then I have the Batman set coming. So how this many... is like this is like Toddy Max Toddy Mac corner because we're just showing off. This came in like three different boxes from Amazon. I heard uh, about two, that. Two of them were Toddy Mac boxes. Yep, and, but it's uh, a nice it's a nice box. I mean, I mean, it'll eventually get open, but it's not getting open right now. Yeah. So, I mean, we, we, we follow kind of the same people in the toy world on Twitter, Mr. Preternia. Um, he had posted when he got his, and it was the same thing he said. He was like, there's a box within a box, and then it's yeah. another box. You know? I mean, this was another recent one that I, I really actually like the way it looks. I love, yeah, I love that. Super Shredder. Yeah. So cool. I saw that at the uh, Sweet Sweet Toy Show, which was really awesome. And uh, been, I, had, it, it, you, I mean, you spoke on them last week. The loyal subjects—they've been—they're making uh, seems like better, better stuff lately. Yeah, I mean, it seems like they're getting a little more freedom with the licensing. Because I think in the beginning they were just kind of—I guess maybe uh, Nickelodeon was testing the waters to see. Because obviously they they give the license to a lot of people, so yes, there's a lot of different stuff sure out there. But um, yeah, they've they've done a lot of different varieties of turtles they've done there's that weird wave i don't have it up here there was a, remember i showed you offline it was like a donatello they sent that is its own design like i've never seen it before like it's like kind of comic-y but it almost has like a little bit of that michael bay look to it um yeah. but i do like that they you know they had the the retro ones those are the ones i like the ones that were on the um, like the, the video game, the sprites. Um, so here's a little, the little stand, which I can personally, sorry, Toddy, I can give two shits about these. Like this is the, this is where the price went up for an extra. I mean, he's it not looks afraid. Like the stand they used to give you with the uh, movie Maniacs. Yes. Put a little poster in the yes. Stand. Yes. Which uh, we need those back. He's got yeah. the the licenses there per se. But he's doing like weird movie licenses. We talked about this at the toy show, if you remember. That was uh Yeah, it seems like Warner Brother stuff. So he's got like yes. the hangover. It's not the old ones were more like horror and uh horror sci fi stuff. Like I still have the Terminator the T the T two stuff for T one thousand and uh T eight hundred. But so, Nick and seems to have a lot of those horror licenses, so maybe they're not letting them out as much as they used to. But they are getting back into sports. They are getting back into sports. Starting lineup, so. right? No, no, that's Hasbro. But um, Tony oh, Mack got the sports license back. So he, I don't know if they're just going to be making gold. Was he the starting lineup originally? No, he had his own. He had his own uh, sports uh, sports line. So okay. he's getting the NFL again. And, and starting lineup was supposed to do other sports. But the NBA ones, I think, were a colossal failure. So I'm not sure if they still are or aren't. I haven't heard anything. Or you think with the NFL season coming up, they would – do something. Well, not coming up, but actually the first game already was played. But. Right. Maybe. I guess time will tell, right? So here we are. So. Nice. I like the uh, the extra layers and the colors. 
the two-tone cape. I like that his capes aren't super stiff. Like I know a lot of the Marvel figures, the capes are usually fairly, fairly thicker than this. It's a little more flexibility for adjusting. I'm not big on the one thing about the Toddy Max. There's no thigh swivel. So that kind of the articulation, got to get a little used to that. You can go out this way into the crotch area, but, you know, posing them with the ankles and stuff is a little different. They have toes, which is kind of cool. It's almost like it's more of a ball joint at the ankle. So that's something that once I open those Dark Knight ones to get a little used to. Um, arms go up pretty good, but I do like I like the purple in there. And yeah. uh, double. I mean, if I knew the character, exactly, knew the character would help. But <laughs> yeah, but I like the. It's got almost like the um, the purge. Like the mask gives me like that the purge vibes from the movie. Yeah. It kind of looks like a uh, mix of one of the Court of Owl and Scarecrow or something like that. Yes, I can see that too. So the the hands kind of weird because at least for this guy, his fingers... He doesn't have extra hands? No, that's... uh, There's one hand, which <laughs> it's weird. Because it's literally... Because it's, this, this hand, the open hand, is a yeah. semi, semi-closed hand. That's it. I mean, that's that's all that we get in the box. So it's um, kind of weird. His dis, his dis, decisions on what's packaged in some of these is kind of questionable, in my opinion. I'm not gonna lie. I think the big thing with uh, the heads, you know, I'm sure you know he's notorious for. Hey, here's a gold edition. The difference is one has a civilian head, one doesn't. You know. Like, I think that's kind of a waste, personally. Um, but for the first time, he has a gold edition that's with Target for um, the Flash. And it actually comes with both heads for the first time. He's never done that, so it's weird. Maybe he's starting. Ah, I'm getting my hopes up. Don't. In the back row. <laughs> so the hands are weird, because, again, they're not... You can't, like, you have to force... This weapon in the hand, they, the the fingers don't move at all, so they're definitely stiffer than I would uh, have liked. But I'm trying to get it in there. That's what she said. You know, I keep saying kids show, but I don't think so. I think we, <laughs> I think we lost that opportunity a long time ago. Oh, and then it come it it comes apart so after after trying hard to not have it break. Oh, you can boy. just separate. No, you could just separate the the weapon, which for me is probably for the better. So that's what we're gonna do for the sake of displaying. There you go. Yeah, I'm okay with that. There we have it. The one thing I will give them, he gives a stand. Yeah, so which, to, which in my experience kind of suck. Well, all with his. Yeah, because the figures always fall over. That's really the, the three that I've opened. You know, Dark Knight Returns Batman can't stand up. The Batman with the guitar from the, the Metal series mm-hmm. you know, he'll fall over. Also, I have to lean him on something. Then I feel like I have one more. But I know those two for sure. So the ankles are just definitely... too top heavy. I think he doesn't look like he looks like he's evenly proportioned. So yeah, I mean, I think that one of the biggest struggles I've seen with those figures is the ankles. The ankles yeah. sometimes are a little loose. But I've seen that even with um, my Diamond Selects, the the Venom, the Venom that's right yeah. here. Well, he's going to be top heavy also. Yeah, his ankles are not good. So, like, there's been days where he's just on the floor. Yeah. So now I have him on his knees with in front oh, of... Oh, easy. Yes, yes. Easy. In front of Anti-Venom, because Anti-Venom doesn't stand well either. So they're just having a, a symbiote get off. <laughs> Stroke it. I'm sorry, that's from another show. <laughs> so, but that's pretty much well, what I have. Yeah, so we can. That's it. it. Yeah, yeah, I mean the toddy, the toddy Mac stuff. I'm looking forward to they announce some more superpowers. But now that that line is getting a little out of hand, I don't know how much longer I. Can, I'm I'm not gonna buy every single one because they were getting so many different repaints and stuff. Like they they did another Batman and Robin. It's cool that they're doing the Peacemaker three pack, which right. I think is awesome. And again, these are. 
if you don't know, they did uh, uh, superpowers inspired by the old superpowers toys. And they're only 10 bucks a figure, which is a rarity now for anything. Right. I mean, they're four inch scale, but, and they come with a um, little bit of accessories once in, a, once in a while, but they're making a lot of Batman and Robins. They've made Superman multiple times, Wonder Woman multiple times, Nightwing multiple times now. But they're also using the Batman mold to make Thomas Wayne from Flashpoint, right? right which is cool. Yeah. And, and there, the there he is. Peacemaker set is all different. Right. So. And those are comic books uh, like more so than anything, yeah. which is cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And they look yeah, I, like I don't want to get into those. That's dangerous. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Well, I don't collect the other ones, typically. I have a couple for, I tried to buy the Rogues and the Batman stuff, and obviously the Batmobile here for 89 Right. So, uh, yeah, but I'll try to limit it to that. Cool. Yeah, I think the the main stuff I'm looking forward to is uh, the Toddy Mac, the Batman set that's coming. I think I'll be getting that. Uh, around the 20th so maybe we do a show around then i can pull that out i'm gonna open that most people aren't all the, that that's all the batman from the movies this, right yes so you so, got the clooney nipples <laughs> so i have yes, yes. i only have i have a bail already open because i bought the way the build a figure wave so that'll be the of course extra. i love that build a figure wave the bane is awesome they're up there but um yeah, so I'll display those, and then um, I'm going to probably open that Robin. I'm going to open, like, a Superman. And uh, I was thinking about doing the Doomsday and the Superman, but he takes up – he's so big. He'll take up almost that whole shelf. So I got to be very yeah. selective on who I open, you know. And then, I, you know, as I was going through the closet of Doom, the other side, the part two, that's where all the Toddy Max reside. I'm like, oh, my God, I have all the Justice oh. League figures, too. I Don't forget black... about us in here. Don't forget got, about got... us in here. I finally saw, real quick, and I finally saw that there are some in there that I have that are worth a lot of money, surprisingly. Like that Bane. That Bane is very... No, that Bane's over $150. I didn't what know Bane that. is that? That's the Arkham Bane. Okay. Big I Bane, have a Bane. Big box. The big box? I have, a big bo- I have a big box Bane. Yeah, he's worth a lot. Oh, it's time to sell him then. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> this this Superman is worth like 150 bucks because this oh, is the first boy. Superman he ever did. But he's done so many Supermans now, so yeah, you know. And they some of them have been questionable. Some of them have been pretty yeah, good. Not so much. Like that one that's with the uh, what's that other the guy with the U? Ult, is it Ultraman? Ultraman? Like the Superman from Invincible? No, from DC. It's like that oh, alternate. Yeah. It's that alternate universe where uh, it's a crisis on infinite Earths. Yeah, so it is. I don't remember his name though. Yeah, I think it's like Ultraman yeah, or something yeah. like that. But they have the two pack of him, and the Superman's face is like. Yes, I've seen the pictures of people. Oh, I was that. like, yeah. what the hell is this? Yeah. So, but all right, we'll keep it. Let's you know we went a little longer than we wanted, but that's okay. Really? That's okay. We'll, we'll get more shows saying. in, and we'll cut it down. We appreciate everybody's time as always. Um. Yeah, looking forward to more toys spending our money on, right? And yes. it's going to be, we'll have plenty of shows before that, but we will be attending the New York Toy Fair. So that'll be some stuff that we'll talk about in the coming weeks as well. So stay tuned for that. Uh, some really cool Definitely. stuff we'll hopefully get to check out there. Yes. All right. Yes. Anything Until else next one. day, Mr. Legend Pop? No, I'm going to close the shows with my boy Optimus till all I want. And you close the door to the closet. Take care now. Bye-bye now.